Put you in a Rolls Royce, let you kick back. I'm still winning. All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight tilt between John Jones and Chuck Liddell. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. Is that guy who usually has the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big kick lands. Jones is kick blocked. Big body kick land. Effective punch there by the Hall of Famer, the Iceman Chuck Liddell. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. This liver shot lands. Outstanding output on both sides. Liddell gets hit with a kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big hook. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt, man. Oh. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. Oh, shot lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh! Yeah, it looks like he's transitioning into a knee bar. And this might just be a matter of time. shortly thereafter. So much pressure on that knee, you have no choice but to tap. Usama Pagliata somewhere, smiling. Smiling. <laughs> he loves that. He loves one out some his knee. He got him! <laughs> yeah, it's not every day in modern mixed martial arts where you see a fight finished by leg lock, a great display of technique there, just the way he trapped the opponent. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 30.